So I'll be the first to admit that I am not perfect. I make all kinds of mistakes all the time. <laughs> and those mistakes sometimes are pretty painful ones. And I will tell you, I made a mistake with Miles Morales. I have been talking about this character for a while. And I kept saying I was going to buy the books associated with Miles Morales and I never did it. And you guys know the rest of the story. You already know what has essentially happened with everything related to Miles Morales. And I am determined to do better. I am determined to hopefully not make that same mistake again. In fact, I have a stack of boxes that are sitting next to me that are proof that I am going to do better. If you want to see what I picked up, Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. As you heard in that intro, I have made a mistake, uh, a major mistake related to Miles Morales in that I talked about but never took any action around buying up the books associated with this character. And that is a major, major mistake because I probably will not buy those books if the prices remain where they are. Uh, but like most things, um, you can take some positive from, from the negative. And so what I have actually decided to do is to make sure that I not only think ahead, but also take action. And I, I do that fairly often, but there's the occasional time where I don't. And this is, has been one of those cases. So um, because there are other characters that have been on my radar that I had not moved on, I have decided to actually move on at least one of those characters for the purpose of this video. And um, maybe I went overboard. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens in, an, in the next year or so, <laughs> whether, whether I indeed uh, went overboard. So we're going to open up a couple of uh, a couple of these things. And by a couple, I mean, we're going to open up all of them and we're going to see what's inside. Uh, but I decided to take some corrective action for for several different reasons. One, because I believe that there are several characters out there that have a ton of potential and I want to be part of that potential. Um, I recognize that there are some characters that are hot right now that may be uh, popular characters for decades to come. And I think that they are characters that will potentially resonate with my children. So that that's part of it. Uh, another thing is that, as you guys know, that have been part of this channel, I actually went to my wife's school and, and my kid's school, for that matter, and actually read um, books to some children during Black History Month. And, and I also uh, took in a bunch of comics from my own collection. And if you remember from those videos, I talked about the fact that I didn't have a whole lot of um, you know, characters and books that might appeal to younger children. And so that again is something that I wanted to try to correct. And so if I can get this open, we will start to show you some of the steps that I have taken to put me in a better position for all of the things that I just mentioned uh, a few moments ago. And uh, I think I'm on my way. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm on my way to, yep, yeah, there we go, to getting this one out. And uh, I think I, I may remember what this is. So the first book, I think that might be, is that thrown in? There's a note here. Um, <laughs> funny, funny. So I tend to sign um, a lot of my email communications. Whenever I send emails to people on eBay, I tend to sign uh, my communications, like who I am, you know, and, and you, you guys know that because I've talked about it in previous videos. So I will sign like Reggie and then I'll do Reggie collects. Right. And so, uh, clearly, uh, this, this person that I bought this book from might actually know and actually watch the channel because they said, uh, recently started getting back into comics and your channel has been very helpful and informative. Keep up the great work and thanks for all the wholesome content you do. 
How about that? So that was pretty cool. That was a, I, that was unexpected. The person I don't think in my communication ever indicated that they actually knew who I was. So that's pretty cool. Um, but it looks like they threw in a couple of things. So this is uh, Rocket Raccoon and Groot number one. And uh, what's interesting is as I put this book up, I just noticed that they also use blue painters. <laughs> How cool is that? And it, they threw in. They threw in uh, House of X, Powers of Ten, one of four. They threw in a graphic novel. And I think that this is one of those, this is, it's one of the foreign graphic novels. How cool is that? How, I think this is French. How cool is that? And I remember uh, in, in one of the communications, there was somebody that was overseas that mentioned uh, this brand and how Marvel had a relationship with them. How cool is that? A nice foreign language graphic novel. And it's of House of X and Powers of Ten, one of the best uh, books in, in, in this year, in my opinion. So that's very cool. That is very cool and very much appreciated. Uh, those were the freebies that the person threw in, and I'm definitely appreciative of that. Uh, but the real reason, the real reason why I uh, bought this was because of this right here. Invincible Iron Man number seven. This, I do believe, is the cameo appearance of of Riri Williams, who is Iron Heart, and what makes this particular, I think that this is the, the third printing, and what makes this really cool is that it, I believe, is considered to be the first cover appearance of Riri right here. So this is the third print cameo appearance, but also, I do believe, the uh, the first cover appearance of Riri. And uh, there are rumors out there that Riri is going to get her own show on uh, the Disney streaming service. So I think that this character has a lot of potential. And this book, I'm telling you, is gorgeous. I saw it online. I looked at the photos. It looked pretty solid. Uh, and as I'm looking at it here in my hands, of course, through the plastic, it, it appears to be a pretty solid book. So I'm I'm definitely pleased with that purchase. Um, shout out to the seller. This next one, um, as you will see, there, there, there is definitely a theme. There is a theme to this haul, and it will become very apparent <laughs> very soon. So let's get this one open and uh, see what is inside here. Get this all opened up, and I, I just wish that I had done this with uh, with Miles Morales. I, I wish that I had done it. Uh, there's an expression, don't talk about it, be about it. And I was, I was not about it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, live and learn, man, live and learn, move on to the next challenge. So this is a nice little bundle that I picked up of books. Um, and there is one really major one in here, we'll set that one. Um, but this first one here is Invincible. Uh, Iron Man number one and um, this one is not in the best shape it was like a couple of bucks and actually I may be able to clean it up might be able to clean this one up but this is another cover appearance of, uh, of Riri right there on the cover I thought it was a cool cover and again cheap price and I think that I can clean up the stains that are on that cover uh, this one has a little bit of a, of a spine roll here but this is Invincible Iron Man number one right there that's uh, Riri in uh in the Iron Man costume. And then the big one that I really wanted is this copy right here. And this is the second printing, or maybe this is the first cover appearance. I need to go back and look at my notes, but this is Invincible Iron Man number nine. No, this one isn't, because that was number seven. This is uh, Invincible Iron Man number nine. This is the second printing, and this one also has a little bubble there with Riri on it. But as I mentioned, I think that that is indeed considered the first cover appearance, issue number seven, third printing. This is the second printing of issue number nine. Hopefully that is not as confusing as I think I may have made that. Um, but we're going to open up this next one. We're going to keep this party moving. And uh, see, this this is, uh, I don't know how this one works. I've never seen this. Is this a homemade box? No, it's not. I thought it was a homemade box. Okay, it's a real box. 
All right, so if we can get this thing open and uh, get a look at what is on the inside of this one. That works quite nicely. All right, let's just get this out of there. Let's see what this one is. Handy dandy box cutter. All right, and we'll get this one out. And uh, that's a backing board. We don't need that. So this one right here, and this is nice. This is a nice copy right here. This is um, Invincible Iron Man number nine, the first printing. So this one has the white writing. The second printing has the blue writing. And again, this is overall considered to be the first full appearance of Riri. Uh, so so this is that that's what this one is. So definitely wanted to pick that one up. So we have the cameo, we have the first cover, and then we have the first full appearance in those in those books that I just showed you there a second ago. So let's open up this next one. Let's see how this one is sealed. It's one of the dangers of cutting into uh, boxes when you don't know how someone has packaged them. It uh can end badly if one is not careful. So get this one open and uh, we will get a good look at these. I mean, thankfully so far, all of these have been uh, packaged very differently, but all pretty securely. I mean, the books appear to be in solid shape. I mean, the packaging, the United States Postal Service right now, honestly, is like on fire. They really are on fire. They've been doing such a fantastic job of uh, delivering books in, in my opinion, in a, in a timely manner. It, it seems like, you know, I'm ordering things one day and those things arrive like the next day. It is, it is outstanding. And I think uh, the United States postal workers are working a lot of hours right now. So this is an additional copy, uh, not as nice as the one we just looked at. This one definitely can benefit from a press just looking at it through the plastic here. I'm not seeing a whole lot of spine ticks, but I am seeing a little bit of waviness there. Um, and maybe, maybe one spine tick. Uh, this is Invincible Iron Man number nine. This is another of the the first print right there the guy is actually calling this a a 9.2 and uh might be right about that uh, especially if i'm not able to get out uh some of those non-breaking creases that i'm seeing on the spine but there's some potential there again for the price it was not a bad deal at all and we'll open up this next one and again you guys are probably already seeing the theme of what it is that we are doing here so we'll get this next one open and we will see what is inside of this one once I discover how it is packaged. All right, that could have gone really, really bad. That could have gone poorly. Hopefully we did not do any damage with that. With that. And uh, wow, I've never seen anyone ship like that. It is it is a plastic bag on the outside, a a top loader, magazine size top loader, with a piece of cardboard and a comic inside of it. I've never seen that method of shipping before, but if it works, it works. Um, and a taped comic to the backing board or the uh, cardboard inside of the top loader again lots of different ways to do things and if it works it works and uh that is not a bad looking copy full first full appearance again this is uh invincible iron man number nine right there cannot have too many of those again i am fixing my mistake <laughs> And planning, excuse me, and planning for the future. All right, so we're going to get this last one open and we're going to see 
uh, what's inside of this one and you already may be able to guess what this one might be so we'll get this all open and we will reveal it on the inside white tape on bubble wrap is never an easy thing to see all right so this is the very last one that i picked up and uh, this is the first full appearance of riri williams and this is uh, invincible iron man number nine i picked up a 9.6 of this book uh in my head i felt like uh, the 9.8 was was a little expensive, to be honest with you. I felt like the 9.8 was was a little pricey uh, for me. And I will tell you that as I looked at the photos of this book, I felt like this book had the potential to actually get a 9.8. The reason for that is I don't think that this book was actually pressed. And I can actually see an indentation here that runs about uh, about two inches. There is an indentation right here. Um, and then there is also another indentation on the back side where it looks like this book has not been pressed at all. And if it were, it was pressed, uh, it might actually uh, revert it or something like that. But in my head, this book has the potential to be cracked, pressed, and then regrade it and will potentially come back at a 9.8. So again, that is part of the reason why I decided to go with this 9.6 versus buying a 9.8 uh, because I felt like the 9.8 was pretty expensive and I think that this book potentially, potentially can get me there still. And if not this one, maybe one of those could get me there. But there you go, that, that is essentially uh, the video that I wanted to, to share with you guys. Uh, it is my corrective action, <laughs> maybe my over overcorrection, overcompensation for what happened with Mr. Miles Morales. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I certainly want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. If you need to reach out to me, you can do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects. And if you need to send me an email, you can do that as well. And the best way to find me on email is at Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.